Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of November. It is a general reading and so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there and if not, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. What we have here is a reconciliation that is trying to uh, trying to happen. Okay, let me see. I feel that in the past with this person, um, we see that there was an offer, but um, it's like with this person. Oh gosh, they could. Um, they would tell you things, but it's like the, the actions didn't match the words. And it's it's like you uh, would keep hitting brick walls with this person or always coming up against a wall. There were um, struggles within that relationship. Um, could have been a lot of uh, little arguments. There could have been competition for this person's affection. There was, whatever this was for you, um, we see that there was like doubts, a lot of doubts about the outcome or how it would end. This is somebody whom uh, you were very charmed by, very attracted to. There's an allure about this person and they can easily pull you in. It's um, almost overpowering how much of an effect that they have on you. I feel that you, of course, were in separation, and now that you've had this communication, um, most likely there's fears that creep out from beneath the bed, but yet you've got this this initial draw. This, it's, it's like you're pulled towards this person. You, uh, you're worried and you're, you're restless, anxious. It could be that you don't have a lot of faith in what they're telling you because of the way that it was in, in the past. Um, it, I mean, I think this is more about illusions, um, about empty words and empty promises um, with this person. <clears throat> It appears um, as though it ended badly with a walking away. Um, you could have thrown down the glove that I see here in an ultimatum because uh, you were just frustrated with this person. because you are so easily fooled by their words, or you were. You feel, you feel like you're missing information, or they're not telling you uh, certain things. Hmm. You, um, you're thinking, you're thinking of taking that risk. Um, you're thinking of taking, uh, the rose or the cup that's offered. Let 
me see. I feel like they, um, uh, it's like they come and, and they, they just like shake up your world. Um, they come in from out of the blue, out of nowhere. Um, it's like you're just starting to get on your feet and then whoof, they swoop right in and, and there you are again uh, under their spell. And it's how it feels and it feels unfinished for you. You, you know this. So they come back in with all these words again. Uh, they've changed, you know. Um, they've, um, whatever brought the tower in in the past um, has been taken care of, so to speak. Um, so it's like a there was something that you rebelled against in the past and it's a past situation this is you got the ghost card uh so this is uh, memories what haunts you from the past and what haunts you is that is just that it's that um nothing matched up uh, what they were telling you uh, with regards to what they were doing Um, and you, maybe you got the power card here, uh, so you may have stood up, um, because whatever this person was doing, uh, it's, it's like it didn't feel right or went against your beliefs in some way, um, so you may have rebelled and, and threw that glove down and then withdrew behind the wall. This could have happened, and this is just for, for someone, it could have happened in the springtime, last spring. That is a specific message for someone. Um... We have uh, the milk and the doll here. Oh, yes. I see the elixirs here also. So um, the milk is just that. It's um, um, nostalgia. It's um, crying over spilt milk. Uh, feeling it's like that woe is me type of energy. Um, wanting with the doll to go back to when things were easier, and seeking uh, healing uh, with the elixir uh, for whatever ails you. And of course, this has to do with the past. So this could be your energy or theirs. They're coming back in saying that they've changed or changed things uh, uh, in a way that would, um, what they mean is, uh, whatever has changed, uh, they expect that that should please you, so to speak. Um, so, the question is, do you believe them? Do you want to reach for the coin? Do you want this new beginning? Will they be willing to work through the issues or um, are they telling the truth about having changed or fixed whatever was the issue in the past? You will be required to step up to the wheel but it's going to be a blind spin here. You do not know where 
it's going to land. But the fact that it is feeling unfinished here, um, I feel that you do pick up the coin. So, whatever happens, whichever way the wheel turns when you step up to the wheel, it will be for your highest good. for better, um, whether that's for the better or the worse. If it turns in a situation where you feel it's for the worse, what appears to be very negative or a very negative outcome at the time will actually benefit you in the long term. You just will not be seeing it in the moment. So this is what I mean when I say um, that it will be for your highest good whichever way it turns. And you will have to step up to the wheel to find out. I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, I would, I would like to say thank you to those who have um, sent in a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.